Hi, this is Eric from LongBoxReview.com. Uh, welcome to the show. This is my uh, post Heroes Con, Heroes Convention. Um, uh, show you what I got at the con video. Uh, got a lot of comics, got a few other things. I just wanted to share those with you. So, uh, so like I said, I, I, I went to Heroes Con, the Heroes Convention. This is in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. This is held uh, uh, the, the weekend of Father's Day. So I was there, what was it, uh, June 17th through the 19th in, in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, bought a lot of stuff and uh, saw some really cool things. If you're not familiar with uh, the Heroes Convention, it is a uh, mostly, um, not mostly, it, it's, it's very much a comic book focused, um, comic book creator focused show. So if you're used to seeing uh, or going to cons that are more about, not more, but, but include uh, celebrities, uh, celebrity guests, and uh, other pop culture related stuff, um, this is not that kind of con. So uh, I loved it. It was, it was great. Uh, I only uh, went by myself uh, because it was too expensive for everybody, for my family to go. So... Uh, um, anyway, um, I, like I said, I had a great time and I uh, got some stuff, so I want to show that to you. So first off, uh, when I went to Heroes Con, or went to get my, my badge and, you know, check in and all that stuff, they gave me this nice little poster here, showing uh, some nice art there, right? Anyway, it's okay. Um... When I went to the con, though, I had I had a couple things in mind. Uh, I wanted to get a bunch of back issues. I heard that the back issue hunting at Heroes Con was really good, and uh, I can I can safely say that that is the case. Um, and I also went with uh, a couple of things, uh, a couple ideas. I went with one idea being no more prints because I have a bunch behind me up on the walls and over there and over there. Uh, that I hung up from for things that I got at Emerald City for the last many years, and I'm running out of wall space, so I was not going to buy any more prints. However, <laughs> I'm walking around the con. Um, I see uh, various artists. You know, I'm looking at their wares and just being amazed at the stuff that they are selling, that they're showing, that they're actually doing at the tables. You know, as as most artists do at cons. And I happen to walk by this guy. Uh, his name is Cole Drews, and he uh, had a, he had uh, several prints. Um, he does cutout. He does uh, cutouts, and then he puts them together in various ways, and then adds some things digitally to the to the image that he takes. And uh, so I got this one because I could not resist. I could not resist this one. There we go. So these are all these are all uh, cutouts. So he he did. He did the Batman one, he did the Nightwing one, uh, the Batgirl, Red Hood, Red Robin, and uh, Robin, Son of Batman. Now, he did all those separately and then laid them out together like this, as you can see. And then you can, if you look at the top here, uh, this kind of weathered look, he said he did that digitally in, in uh, whatever whatever program he used, probably Photoshop, right? But uh, so, you know, I got the Bat Family <laughs> uh, print here. So I'll find a place for it, but uh, I really got to stop buying prints. <laughs> uh, another artist, um, this is a guy, Jeff DeCal, who, when I was getting ready to go to the con, I checked the uh, the uh, Heroes Con Heroes Online. I think that's what it is. Uh, anyway, the Heroes Con Twitter feed, uh, looking for artists who were advertising commissions because that's one of the things. That's the second thing that I that I wanted to try to do was maybe commission some some original art. And uh, as I was looking through that Twitter feed, I found Jeff DeCall, and he uh, his 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 images that he was sharing from previous cons was really cool. Uh, his colors are amazing. He does a lot of uh, watercolor stuff uh, that that he commissions. At the cons, and so I, I emailed him and, and asked him, "Do you have, do you have any openings?" He said, "Well, um, why don't when you get here, why don't you stop by my table and see?" 
so so I did. Uh, this was Saturday of the con. Like I said, it was it's three days: Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Most of Friday I spent uh, back issue hunting, and I'll show you those in, in just a minute. Um, uh, but I did stop by his 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 table on Saturday and commissioned something. I'll show that at the end. But uh, while there, I did buy his his art book, Metanoia. Jeff to call you see that wonderful image there uh, on the front cover. And just let me sh let me just hopefully find you find real quick here a representative image. Well, just I mean, look at the line work that he does here. That's not I'm not showing it very well. Sorry, uh, but but look at the look at the colors. I love it. I love it. Um, he does. Oh, there's there's some nice. Nice color work. I really like the color work, as I said. Uh, here's here's probably my favorite one right there. I just love that image. Anyway, I, I got this from him, and I'm very glad I did. And like I said, I will show the the commission later. I asked him to do a very specific thing. Uh, it's something that I want to start doing uh, at, at any con that I go to. I'm going to collect a certain kind of uh, art from these artists. And uh, so Jeff DeCal is the first one of that lot. Although now, now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm talking about it, I said no more prints, uh, but I'm going to start getting <laughs> these commissions, these original pieces of art, and, and I still have the same problem. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> Uh, maybe some of these prints will have to go somewhere else. My wife will love that. Okay, anyway, so back to why I went to Heroes, well, not, 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 not totally why I went to Heroes Con, but this was a large part of why I went to Heroes Con. Back issues. So, uh, I got a, a big stack. I think I bought like 85 individual issues while I was there. Really great prices. Most of the stuff I bought was in the the one to three dollar range, uh, with a few exceptions, um, but uh, I was able to complete a few runs of things that I was looking for, including the Adventures in the DC Universe. Finally got issue number one. Uh, a bunch of them. I got like ten of these issues. That oops. hit the camera. I just like that one with this ring with Wonder Woman and the Green Lantern ring. But I got 10 issues of, of this run. Here's another good one. Batman and the Creeper. Sorry, I got a glare on there from the window. And then the I think this is the final issue where um, the Justice League is going up against Amazo. Anyway, uh, I, I originally started getting a few of the Adventures in the DC Universe uh, issues because of the Legion characters that showed up uh, in in the series and and then I decided hey I really like this style this is you know the the animated um, Justice League style and I really love those shows so I, I decided I was going to get all the issues and, and read them all so there's that I just I just love this I'm a big how uh, how Alan Scott Alan Scott fan I'm gonna move over here there that's a little better yeah, I'm a big Alan Scott Green Lantern fan, and as I was looking for issues at, uh, you can kind of see in the corner on the other side there, it's Dave's Comics uh, at his booth, the, that vendor's booth. Um, uh, his comics were one and two dollars a piece, so I was trying to, I don't know, come up with like even numbers, and so I, <laughs> this was one of the ones I got to help with that. It was just a random issue. It wasn't even on my list. Uh, this one is, though, was on my list here. Whoops, over here. Birds of Prey number eight. This is the uh, famous one, or infamous, depending on how you look at it, uh, issue where Dick Grayson shows up and he has uh, some, or, or uh, Oracle, Barbara Gordon, uh, they have a uh, very intimate talk about their relationship. It's a, it's a very well sought after issue. Uh, I've had, I've been looking for it for a few years now, and it it's take it well. It took me this long to get it because no one has it. It's really hard to find. You can see that the price there in in the corner, fifteen bucks. That's what I paid for this. I don't know that it's worth it, but 
I got it anyway because I really wanted to have my collection. I, I like to collect e uh, issues of comics where uh, Nightwing shows up, Dick Grayson. Uh, I got a few more uh, DC Comics Presents here. Uh, just and that's Commandy teaming up with Clark Kent. What? And uh, the Demon. So there, there go. There are a few more of those. Uh, I think I need a few more to complete the run of the series that I want. Not not complete the run because really all I'm doing is getting issues with characters that I really like. Um, so I don't need to have the entire run of DC Comics Presents, but I may up in the end only need, maybe needing only a few issues, so I may as well complete the run. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. Uh, let's see. Grendel. I got a couple issues of Grendel. This is a series from 1985-86, I think it was. And I have, like, I think I have, like, the first eight issues, but I was missing numbers two and three. So I happened to find those really cheaply. I don't know if you can see the, see how it's bent there. So, yeah, not very pleased about that. But, you know, I have the issues. I'll, I'll bag and board them. Take care of it. Um, another another series that I wasn't even really looking for. This is the Hawk and Dove series from looks like 1997, early 98. Again, it was it was kind of a they have they happen to have all five issues there. They were cheap, and I thought I would just go ahead and get them. Uh, I'm a big Hawk and Dove fan. I may have mentioned that. Uh, I skipped on this series though when it came out uh, because they're not the Hawk and Doves that I love so uh, but I but I decided to get them anyway since like I said they were cheap and a series that I got many years ago so this came out in oh yeah 1984 late 83 uh, early 84 this is Infinity Incorporated Featuring the the Earth Two heroes, this is before the crisis in DC Comics, so you actually had these heroes and these characters uh, and inhabited Earth Two, and so um, like I said, I had I think I had like the first twelve issues or so of that, got rid of them over the years for some stupid reason, and decided uh, that I really wanted them, <laughs> so I got the first twelve issues all right here. I uh, got a few issues of Legends of the DC Universe. This is Wonder Woman. This is a Green Arrow. Travis might be a little jealous. That there's so there's there's uh, some of the some of that run that that I'm looking for. And then I bought like a ton. I think the majority of the comics I got were Legion comics. So this is uh, a bunch of Legion comics that I just did not have. I, I dropped the Legion after a certain point. And never picked it back up again. And then, you know, they kept rebooting the series over and over and over. And so I decided uh, in the last year or two that I was going to go ahead and try to get all of the Legion comics that I do not have and read those. I'm a huge Legion fan. So I got a bunch of Legion comics. Uh, and then some Legionnaires, if I can find them real quick. Yeah, some Legionnaire comics. That was a companion series that was running at the same time as the Legion. Ooh, look and look look at that great cover with the Fatal Five there and Brainiac Five. It's kind of kind of got a green hue to it. I love it. Anyway, got those. A lot of them. I got see so many Legion comics. <laughs> uh, I love Legion now. Oh, here's here's another Legion comic. It's uh, the second through the fourth issues. I already got issue one of Legionnaires three. Okay, that glare is wonderful, right? Anyway, this is Legionnaires three. This this is a story about the founding members of the Legion: Lightning Lad, Saturn Girl, Cosmic Boy. Uh, this came out in uh, late '85, early '86. For some reason, even though I was a huge Legion fan then, like huge, huge, um, uh, I did not pick this up for some reason, and uh, I've always wanted to read it, so now I can read all four issues. 
Uh, got a couple Marvel team ups. Same thing with Marvel team up and Marvel two in ones. Uh, lately, I've been I've been just like the DC Comics. I've been trying to get the issues featuring characters that I really like. So this one has Daredevil. I love it when Spider Man and Daredevil have to get together. And here's Spider Man and Alpha Flight in the annual. Uh, another series whose run I completed with with these three issues is the New Adventures of Superboy. Uh, that, that this was uh, this was a series that I started getting back in the early '80s, I think it was. And uh, this is when not not, not these particular ones, um, but early on, this comic featured art by Paul Kupperberg, I believe, uh, which I love. Anyway. I just, I just really like Superboy. I've always I've always loved the character of Superboy. So um, finally got all those. I can read all those now. Since I only I think I only read like uh, I want to say the first dozen or so issues of it originally. So now I have the complete. I don't know. It's forty something issues. I think or fifty. I think it's fifty issues. Uh, another. So you know I mentioned I like to get everything uh, involving uh, Dick Grayson, Nightwing. Well, Robin is part of that, and so I got a few Tim Drake Robin issues. Too bad, Travis. Um, <laughs> you, you know Travis. I'm talking about uh, Oddfellow's Thoughts, Travis, in case you're, you're wondering. He's a, he's a good friend of mine. Um, we tease each other. I, he doesn't like Tim Drake. I think he's a fool, but you know, that, that's what friends are for. To call each other out on our, our crap. Right, Travis? <laughs> anyway, I got this Robin 1 million issue with, with the robotic Robin. I just think that's a great image of this character. So, and uh, a Robin Argent one shot. Argent is one of the, the uh, characters from the Adam, the Ray Palmer Adam Teen Titans run uh, that I really liked. And they kept trying to use her. I don't think she's been around for a long time though, now, but. Uh, here is Saxon Violins. This is, this is a George Perez title. I think there's only like four or five issues of this. But let me look at, no, uh, you can't. It's stupid glare. Ooh, you can't. It's not focusing. Wonderful Perez art. So I've been trying to get those. This is from Epic Comics. I don't know what year doesn't say on the cover so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess like mid to late 80s uh, here here was here's a good one uh, sixth gun Colin Bunn Brian Hurt and Bill Crabtree I think is the color artist anyway they they had the series called the sixth gun and the 50th issue came out the Wednesday before Heroes Con, so I wasn't going to be able to read it until the week after Heroes Con, or the, the few days after Heroes Con. But guess what? They had a Heroes Con exclusive variant edition of the Six Gun, and I went to the panel at the con and, uh, celebrating the Six Gun and the, the release of the, the final issue. And they were giving these away for free for anybody who went to the panel. And, of course, and you can see they signed them. So I got that. Uh, if you were unlucky enough or not savvy enough uh, to go to the panel, they were selling them at their table for 20 bucks. So that's quite a deal. Let's see here. Okay, here's another, here's another series, just like Infinity Incorporated. Uh, the Vigilante, this is from the 80s, I want to say 84, 83, 84, yeah, 80, yeah, late 83, early 84 when this came out. So this is Adrian Chase, he first appeared in the new Teen Titans series and they gave him his own series. Um, great Keith Pollard covers and uh, it's another, it's another series that um, I had like the first almost dozen issues or so. And I got rid of them for some stupid reason, and I realized that I, I really wanted those, at least those first few issues. I don't need to go get the whole thing, the whole series, because it, it ran for quite a while, actually. Um, but I got those. I found I found just about all of them at Heroes Con, so that was really cool. And then the final, the final floppy, I got one more comic to show you. Um, it's a digest, but this one here, this is World's Finest, and as you can see, 
there are Legion characters. Oh man, I gotta I gotta figure out what to do with that glare. Uh, but anyway, there's Legion characters on there. There's a composite Superman in the middle, which that's if you don't know that character, it's it's just a it's a guy who <laughs> half Superman, half Batman. It's it's one of those hokey Silver Age characters. But I love this character, uh, and it has the Legion, so I, I got it. Uh, I think this is this is part two of a, of a, of a two-part story, so I had to get it. Um, funny story about this: I was just I you know I was looking for a whole bunch of things, and was not finding this. But I went to this. Uh, I tend to go to vendors who have their comics bagged and boarded and in order. If you got just a bunch of comics just in no order and they're they're not they're not uh, bagged, I, I kind of just skip over those vendors generally speaking. But this one, well, this one this one actually turned out to be bagged, but the majority of the comics and at that vendor w were not they were not bagged. Uh, uh, but I was I was sifting through things just I was killing time really uh, looking for stuff. Uh, I think it was on the final day of the con on Sunday, and uh, this, there was a guy next to me doing the same thing, and he's talking with with the the guy behind the the, the boxes, the, the vendor, and they were just having this little, little this little chat, and and he was as he was talking, he was going through things, and he pulled this one, he pulled this comic out of the box and looked at it real quick, and I just happened to catch it out of the corner of my eye, I'm like, and I'm thinking in my head, because I you know I I'm doing this looking looking at the comics. Uh, up above, and he's down below at the boxes on the floor. We found this one, and and I see that out of the corner of my eye. And I'm thinking, oh my God, please put that back, put that back, put that back, please. And he did. And as soon as he moved out of the way, I just pounced on that sucker and I, I grabbed it out. It's not the best condition. I mean, it's not too bad, uh, but it's not the best condition. But but now I have that another comic I can take off my wish list. So very pleased about that. There were many other comics that uh, I was looking for, like uh, Superman 416. It's one of the post-crisis stories uh, that I, I really wanted to get. I couldn't find that. A bunch of others. I was looking for Young Justice, the 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 comic, not not the one featuring uh, Robin, Superboy, and Impulse, and Cassie, Wonder Girl. Uh, not that one. The one that they came out with not too many years ago based on the Young Justice cartoon. So uh, I have I have the, the latter half of that, but I've been looking for <laughs> the front half of that series because I really enjoyed it. I found a few issues. I didn't get them though because I was spending way too much money, um, mostly because of the commission I got, which I will show you in just a second. So there were some things I didn't get, but one of the things I did that was on my list that I got is one of these old DC digests. As you can see, it's it's featuring Superboy. I used to have a bunch of these digests. I actually still have a bunch on the shelf behind me. Maybe no, you can't really see back there. Uh, anyway, I have a bunch of them. I love these digests, and for some reason, I got rid of this one. Another example of of a comic I got rid of. Don't know why. I remember liking this a lot. And I found it. It was five bucks. This one vendor had a bunch of these digests. I really wish I had bought at least two or three more that he had. But I only got this one. And then I brought when I, after I got home, I took it out of the bag. I was looking through it, and I realized, you know what? I probably didn't need this after all. Maybe there was a reason I got rid of it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, but as I said, I love Superboy, so I got it. There you go. So those are. Yeah, those are all the comics I got. So, two more things. This, this, this is I got this at the con. You probably have noticed this. The Heroes Convention it says NC uh, for non-compliant. They were celebrating that. Uh, the, the, their, uh, this, that's from Bitch Planet, uh, Kelly Sue DeConnick's comic, and I don't remember the artist on it. Uh, anyway, it was, that's that's a that's a phrase that's used in that world in that comic. And uh, they, they went with that, you know, also NC, North Carolina. Um, so I got that. This is actually, this shirt was actually, they were making them one at a time. So it wasn't like they were printed up beforehand and they just sold them to you like at most cons. There was, there was um, a vendor, I think it's called a fine print shop. 
that you picked out the color of the shirt you wanted. You picked out the, the, the design, which I chose this one. There were several, but I chose this one. And they would then, they took the shirt, put the shirt on the thing. They put the little paint squeegee thing on it and run it over the, the, the stencil on the shirt, dried it right there. And you got a one of, one of a kind, literally a one of a kind shirt uh, at the con, which I thought that was really cool. I ne I've never seen something like that at a con, so that was really neat. Final thing, <clears throat> I've been threatening this. So here it is. Uh, like I said, I, I asked Jeff to call to, um, to do a, I actually asked him if he would do a Robin sketch. And, and he said, you mean like Batman and Robin? I said, yeah. And he said, which one? I said, which one do you want to do? <laughs> and so that's, that's my thing. Uh, like I said, I want to go to more cons and ask artists to do Robins or, or, or Nightwing, you know, just, just put characters who have been Robin, uh, and, and start my collection of, of original Robin art. And so he said, well, how about Nightwing? Nightwing was Robin once, right? And I said, oh yeah, you could do that. And so, uh, so I ordered that on Saturday afternoon and by, by, it was just a little over 24 hours later, I stopped by his, his table on the final day of the con and this is what he gave me. As you can see, the, the water, the black watercolor, you got the blue here. I like that he did the blue suit and not the red suit, Nightwing, but I mean, that's, I love it. I, like I said, I love his watercolor. Now this one is, uh, uh, as far as the colors go, there it's a bit more muted than the other stuff that, that I'm playing with the, 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 the thing. Um, it's a bit more muted in color than his other art that I really, really like, but you know, it's Nightwing. It's, it's he's not supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, bright, bright colors, right? He's, he's a, he's a member of the Bat family. It should be dark. Um, anyway, he gave that to me and I was just, I was just looking at this thing and, and, and I could feel the, the goofy looking smile creeping up on my face. And I, and I was just staring at it. I wasn't saying anything to him. He's like, it's okay, right? <laughs> and I said, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, this one will be framed and put prominently in my office somewhere. Because I love it. Okay. Um, I think that's it. That's all the stuff I got. It was, it was uh, a lot of fun. If you ever have a chance to go to North Carolina in June to go to Heroes Con, I highly recommend it. Great show. Celebrating, like I said, comic books and the comic book creators. What more can you ask for, right? Okay, anyway, um, that's it. I am done. If you have any comments about the stuff that I showed you, any questions for me about Heroes Con, uh, I would glad to try to answer them. I'd be, I'd be glad to try to answer them. Uh, so you can always uh, leave comments below, or you can email me at longboxreview at gmail.com, or you can even tweet at me at, uh, at longboxreview on Twitter. That would be the best, uh, some of the best ways to get a hold of me. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.